By this point in your math career, you guys are all really good at solving one equation with one variable. A system of equations, however, has two equations and two variables. So you want to somehow condense them so instead of having two equations, you only have one equation. One way you can do that is by using what's called elimination. If I have two equations with two variables, I'm going to look for coefficients that are additive inverses. Remember, additive inverses mean the two numbers add up to zero, like two and negative two, or one half and negative one half. They have to have a positive sign and a negative sign, but still be the exact same number. So if I have two coefficients that are additive inverses, I can add the equations vertically, and one of my variables will be eliminated. I'm going to show you one problem. I'm just going to start it off for you to show you what I mean. I'm just making this up. 3x plus 4y equals 10. I just made that up. And uh, 2x minus 4y equals 14. I don't know. Let's just say this was a system of equations and I was asked to solve using elimination. If I look, the coefficients here for y, positive 4 and negative 4, are called additive inverses. They add up to 0. If I add these equations vertically, 5x, I'll have 0y, 5x equals 24. Now this is one equation with one variable that I can solve really easily and go through to find the solution to my system of equations. So you guys, when you're given a problem and asked to use elimination, you're wanting to look for additive inverses. Sometimes you have to do some clever multiplying. Let me show you what I mean. Let's just say that instead of positive 4 and negative 4, I had something else. Let's see, 3x plus 4y equals 10. Let's say I had 3x, oops, let's make that. I'm just making this up, so you got to help me out a second, guys. Um, let's say I had 2x minus 2y equals 5 or something. I don't have any additive inverses, nothing that I can add together to make a variable cancel out. However, I could multiply the second equation by 2, and here's why that's a good idea. If I multiply all of these coefficients by 2, then that would become a 4, that would become a negative 4, that would become a 10, and now my coefficients of y are additive inverses. That's an okay mathematical process. I'm allowed to multiply by 2 as long as I multiply every term in the equation by 2. So I'm going to leave you guys with the idea that to use elimination, you're looking for coefficients that are additive inverses, and then using those, you can add your equations vertically to have one letter in one equation.